Visit Brecken Cave in early June and you'll see something amazing happening. 1,000 bat pups are born every minute inside that cave. They're cleaned by their mothers and smell their way to the breast for their first meal. But the bat pup must wait four to five weeks before gathering the courage to leap from his cave wall and reach for the blong hole in the cave ceiling, which is where his mother disappears nightly and returns with food. When only a month old, the pup's desire to fly mounts with his growing taste for the juicy insects his mom drops down his throat. And then, she's gone again. The mother, weighing in at only half an ounce, must eat nearly three quarters of her body weight each night to maintain the energy needed to feed herself and her pup. Her nursing cave inside is safe and warm, comfortable at about 100 degrees because of the decaying feces and dripping ammonia-saturated urine. The bat pup lies still comforted with a steady but rasping scuffle of clicking sounds vibrating through his nervous system. The pup does not know it, but he is able to stay attached to the rock face by a unique tendon locking mechanism on his foot. The young pup watches and listens while packed into the tightly packed square foot of wall space that it shares with 500 roost mates. Envision this square foot of clattering bat pups and step back to view 425 by 50 feet of cave wall full of pups their mothers congregating separately close by. Week six arrives. Then, one at a time, millions of free-tailed bats bound upwards, winged to wing like jet fighters determined to pierce the eye of a needle above them. It is then they are no longer pups, but adults who have taken flight.